Uh, well, we are McCallum Bagpipes, based in Kilmarnock, Scotland. Myself and Stuart McCallum, I'm Kenny McLeod. And Stuart McLeod. I'm, I'm a piper myself. Uh, I'm the pipe major of the Glasgow Sky Pipe Band, a grade two pipe band. Um, Stuart McCallum's a piper in Strathclyde Police. Um, but we both met when I, before I was the pipe major of the Glasgow Sky, before when it was in grade one, and Stuart was a piper in the band. That's how we met and became friends. And then we decided to start McCallum Bagpipes. But I think I first got to know Jack Lee, or I knew of Jack Lee way back in 1974 or 75. He was the pipe major of a band called Canadian Pacific Airways and they won the Worlds in Grade 2. And then I've kind of known him for, at one time I used to compete in the solo piping, and he still does compete at the very top level in the solo piping. I got to know him then. And then obviously through this disconnection with the pipe band, you know, it's uh, he's uh, obviously uh, one of the stalwarts of the band. There's a young lad in the band called Gordon Conn, who plays McCallum bagpipes. Uh, oh, that's, there's, there's maybe more, but I know about him because he's from Scotland and he was actually taught by a friend of mine how to play the pipes before he moved to Canada. Um, we buy the African Blackwood from a couple of suppliers, one in London, one in Germany. Um, and uh, it comes all cut to length. It's all cut usually in Africa. And it all comes cut to length in a square, sealed with wax. And then the first process, process we would do would make it that into a round tube because it's easier to grip in the machines. And then the next process after that would be to bore it up and profile it to a very rough shape. Once it's profiled to the rough shape, we then let it sit and mature because it's quite a, a wet wood and it tends to be quite full of moisture. So we let it sit for as long as we can. The CNC technology we use takes it to a much more advanced stage than other bagpipe makers. But from the, this finished stage, it's all done by hand from then on. From then on, once the pipes are finished, they're then brought through to the assembly where they're checked out by the guys in here, make sure that everything matches up. They're hemped, assembled, bag covers, cords fitted, tested, and then shipped to the various customers we've got worldwide.